It's time for the third and final figure in series four of the NECA Aliens. Ta -da! Today we have Mr. Dallas, compression suit Dallas, in his overly cool Dead Space outfit. Now if you'll remember I said a while back that I actually received a figure upside down when I pre-ordered it. It was Dallas. I mean what was hilarious is this bit here was up there and the whole figure was upside down. <sighs> Quality control was on holiday that day, that's for sure. But let's have a ganders to the side. Your sad onions and your barcode. The question still looms do Necker own real or do real own Necker? And whoa, there is a few more people on this one. Yeah, definitely, yeah, more than normal. Dun, dun, dun. Let's just hope they haven't. I can already see they have done what they did with the last uh, Ripley figure. <laughs> Look, you can tell this one's been on the shelf. shelf. It's all uh, bent out of place. Go back in place? No one knows. But there he is. And there's the shadow of the alien. Also available, and of course you've seen those too. There we go. Some sort of number. But onto the figure itself. Top down view as always. Yes, you can see it down there, can't you? And the helmet. Right. So, let's have a closer look. I'll tell you what, I absolutely love the paintwork they do on the helmets. It would be amazing if they could, like, you know, dig that out and actually put some sort of little light in there. That would be really, really cool. Um, that is bloody cool, that Mr. Tom Skerritt in all his youth and glory. And there's his alien hunting gun. And uh, down there is something that, again, due to absolutely crap package designing, we can't really see. Let's have a look, see if we could get a hint. Is he holding anything on the back? No, he's not. Um, no, actually, there, look, he's holding the box like. So that's what that down there, <laughs> with the camera, could possibly be. But we don't know because of the absolutely awful packaging design. Necker, uh, the guy needs to find just because of that. Easy to change. Right. You're looking at the figure. Stop stressing. So there we go. Mr. Dallas. I mean, that is so cool. That's even more dead space. The way they uh, paint it and blend it in so it looks like they're just uh, really, really, you know, aging and falling apart and getting old. There's a wrist count there. Yeah, Mark won't know what that is because it's not real. And look, he's actually got a little to put his gun in. Or his torch in. So it goes over arm. Dead space. It just screams dead space this suit. Maybe I've played dead space too much. And that is the detail on that is stunning. It just looks like it's rusting away. It really does look awesome. Legs. So you can get the feet. There we go. <sighs> Cannot see it through the viewfinder. But I assume that is the box. Yeah. I do love the original Alien film. Uh, I'm still a fan of Aliens. It's my favourite. Um, but yeah. So uh, this brings an end to the fourth series NECA figures so disappointed with the last two of this part this part here I mean what's there let's have a look here oh we can't see let's have a look through here oh we can't see how about from the bottom oh we can't see <sighs> naughty naughty really rubbishy bloody packaging artist on this one uh, yeah other than that that's just as I said about the Ripley one the sculpts 
and the actual bits we can see are actually really really good that no, beyond really good they're actually really stunning yeah but in the film it's absolutely fantastic i mean i liked a lot of the uh cut scenes from the especially the alien legacy the quadrilogy set they did uh the really massive one especially because i got the american version and it was just like nine discs if i remember two discs of film and a bonus disc that's the one that had the first time actually get to see burke and the ripley suicide bomb well when ripley gives burke the grenade obviously that's from aliens and we're not talking about it we're talking about alien but in alien they had the scene about Ripley asking Lambert if she's like had sex with Ash and all that because they didn't know if she's an android and then the part they didn't film about the alien ripping its arm off and uh, as a whole you know I think the director's cut's okay but I just prefer the original version of the film but anyway I've waffled on long enough this Sunday there we go everyone that is the compression suit Dallas from series 4 of the NECA alien line